And welcome back to Leather Soup Gaming. Max, what is this place? You're the only one left, son. Can't even make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Are they uh, debrainified? Yep. Uh oh. Business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. You're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I. I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? This yeah, why? It's heavy. Years ago. Uh oh. A terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. <laughs> yeah, I read about that. They said your psyche was shattered, that you lost your mind. But you seem fine to me. Yeah, relatively. When I'm down here, near the Sartanium mother load, the concentrated power of the Sartanium pulls my thoughts together, keeps me like my old self. But if I leave this sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed, and I fall into one of my other personalities. Whoa. No That's why he's everywhere. I'd be no use to you. That makes sense. Vermont. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sash and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignment, so they'd never get approved. But Sash and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? Ooh, actual, actual plot. Hell yeah. Good. I only have one health left. I'll be fine. <laughs> girl. And if you locate any of the other children's brains along the way, bring them back to me for recranialization. Recranialization. How does that work? Yes, sir. I mean, it came out the nose. Does it go back in the nose? You never see. <laughs> You can't, you can't say, like, I know the whole sneezing out your brain thing is obviously hilarious. You can't say that's not possible, because didn't the ancient Egyptians, like, pull out the brain through the nose? See, see, and Melissa thought that, too. No! Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, they tried. I thought it kind of like took a little hook and... <laughs> yeah, they reduce it to goop. Yeah, and it's kind of... <laughs> Yeah, they stir, they blender it first, so Obviously. it's not one piece. Uh, you're not gonna bring out the whole, the whole brain in one piece through the nostril. But also, all right, time. But like, it is time. possible to make that connection through, through the nose into the brain. Yeah, and by, scoop it out by, uh, by breaking all that cartilage and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a direct path and such, but like, you know, if you drill a hole, it's possible. Yep. Yeah. Go on. Give it to me. Yeah. Yeah. One of the coolest things in, uh, speaking of mummies, in Assassin's Creed Origin, you can take the discovery mode and such. And one of the places that I visited in the discovery mode, which is super cool, by the way, is uh, you can go through the whole, like, there's, like, uh, places and settlements and, like, actual towns and such where they have specific areas for mummification. And you can go through there, and the whole discovery experience explains to you the whole process of the modification thing and you can see people like in the game actually doing different steps and such it's such a cool feature that i hope they add it to future assassin's creed games and uh it's if you have any interest at all whatsoever in like anything egyptian ancient egyptian i highly death. recommend immediate death immediate death oh geez if you have any interest in ancient egyptian culture Check out the discovery mode in Assassin's Creed Origins. It's super well done. It's so fascinating. You know what other game I wish had discovery mode? What? Any of the Soulsborne games. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be nice? To like know definite things <laughs> about the lore? <laughs> oh my god. All I right. know it breaks the whole point of the game, but like... I super love the world of Bloodborne and like the whole lore of that, but I know Jack Squat. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing definitive and like, all right. There... I know it's the point, but still. <laughs> yeah, that's just how I feel. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel about it. Like, all right, I get it. And it'd be nice to explore the environment that they painstakingly put together without, you know, Mr. Longclaws Johnson over there hiking my butthole. 
He does like that butthole. He likes my butthole. And I have to cane whip him about it. Can't believe that's going to be the title of this one. He likes my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get them clickbait somehow. Oh, God dang it. All right. I already... <laughs> So what's up now? See, that's the collectathon part, which is cool because you would never know that. Like, yeah. we've been over here a couple of times, and you would have never known that there was a whole pirate ship part of that. Unless you climbed up. Yep. Um, unless you climbed up. It's a, it's definitely a balance of like exploration, exploration in the game with you, um, you know, learning new things about the world, but also like be, it being collect-a-thon, so you feel like you have to do this, you have to do that. Well. Yeah, not. Is that explained why there's a oxygen bubble? Nope. No, it's just there? Psychic. Gotcha. But like someone's got to, you know, hold it together, right? Or something. Oh, I wonder what it is. Oh, it's going to be shown, isn't it? I like how it's a clever way to say you don't have to do an underwater section. Yeah. And and there's a threat. Whoa. There's that. See, and here's the footprints. Yeah. Um, and that threat is always around you. Look. <laughs> That's awesome. That is everywhere underwater. That's super cool. Has there been any news on the uh, the second one, the second Psychonauts? No, I mean I haven't. I think they're still making it. I haven't actually looked it up, so I Me don't. Neither. I don't actually know. There was a trailer like, God, three years ago or something. Probably. And I haven't heard a thing about it since. I think there was a PlayStation VR experience. I don't know if it's out, but I think they were making it too. All right. Oh. Here we go. I'm dead. <laughs> Ring the bell. Tell the dead. Oh, good. Is that my pizza? This is what happens when you see a level 80 Murloc. Nerd. Okay. Cough up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's going to be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. This, this is just written <laughs> so well. Whoa. So is he making the psychic bubble? Because I'm, I'm assuming yes. the fish is psychic, too. Well, why is he making... Oh, wait. I think I might know why. I bet it's a plot thing. You yep. know, if he really wanted to just kill you, just, you know, pop the bubble. That fish! Ooh. So wait, what are you throwing at him? There's like boxes of nails for some reason. Boxes of nails. And now we do a chase scene. Oh. And watch. The chase scene follows. That's cool. He's looking like right at me. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, that was cool. The uh, the plant fell. Cuz now now it has to deal with gravity. Yep. That's cool. Little touches like that are really just cool to me. Is this what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You know what I was thinking the other day? What? How um, when I was a lot younger and playing games as a much younger Ricky, uh, boss fights and such would freak me out. I got so anxious whenever whenever there was a boss fight. Really? I got scared. Like, my fingers were trembling. And I remember playing Spider-Man 3 on the uh, PS3. You know, that disaster of a game and movie. Uh, and fighting Venom, and I was trembling about it. Nowadays, it's, it's not so much. Like, even playing Bloodborne and stuff, I don't tremble at boss fights, mostly because I do, like, tons of research on them before I even engage. Yeah, because you don't want to be in for a bad time. I don't want to be... I just don't want to, like, deal with them and try to figure it out for, like, you know, three hours. I'd rather just be like, okay, so this is the uh, this is the boss fight. I have a plan, and if I die, then I just, you know, I try why again. Why is it not such. working? Uh-oh. Why is it not working? Because you're not on the pole. That's oh, why. Oh, God. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, dear. That, that, got, was close that got scary. That was a close one. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. <laughs> um... But now it's like I don't really get trembled that much at boss fights. 
Okay. I just kind of, you know, I'm like, oh, cool, boss fight, and I, you know, just play it. Uh, did I ever tell you about the scariest game I've ever played? No, please do. Uh, it was called Small Soldiers, the, the, the movie game. I remember you telling me about that before, but I don't remember it being, I don't remember you telling me, telling me about it being scary. It was horrific because of the low draw distance. Uh-huh. Except it would become an entity. You just couldn't see it, but you was could... it like uh, was it like Silent Hill Two Wall of Fog? No, it was just dark. Ooh. So like you'd be walking around in a black screen and you hear, do 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 do, and it's like you just get being shot at, and you're like, what the hell? That's traumatizing. It was so scary. It was just so scary, you guys. Do you remember like the rating of this game? Oh, it was rated E. Oh, of course it was. Oh, he's not happy. Rada, 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 rada. Rada, rada. Rada, rada, rada. God dang it. John DiMaggio. <laughs> he. All right, we need you to act using only two syllables. Can you do that? Okay. Done. God dang it. That takes skill. He's amazing. Uh, the clam. Ah! Um. I actually think. Um. Uh, I think they did the same thing for uh, for John uh, for John DiMaggio for I forgot his name. Uh oh, I'm not worried about it. Okay. Um. Oh, wrong way. Um, as he did for Chewbacca, as they did for Chewbacca, um, they gave him the lines that uh -huh. he's supposed to be saying. Oh, but like he had to do the growl and stuff. Oh, not Chewbacca. Uh, freaking um Groot. They did that for Groot. Oh, with the, that was Vin Diesel for the yeah, movie yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. And he also did you know he did all the lines in alternate languages? That's awesome. Yeah, because he's like, no, I I want to do it. I want it to be my voice, so it sounds more authentic. Apparently, that took a long time to to learn how to properly say it in the correct dialect. I am Groot, and like everything. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't know if he did uh, Baby Groot and like Teen Groot and such. I don't know. I want to say so, but oh, like, I'm in for a bad time. Uh oh, I'm uh -oh. in for a bad uh -oh. time. Uh -oh. Better hope it. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I'm ahead of the game now. Man, this is a long chase. Yeah, it's that's why I'm glad I'm get, we're getting it all done in one go. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, hey, a rail. Oh, a cutscene rail. Wait, he's expanding it. I mean, heck, man, just pop the bubble and you're done. Yeah, it's... Aww. What? That's shenanigans right there. Because it's almost like... Uh, come on, let me just skip it. It's almost like... Oh, nope, you ain't skipping this, It's son. almost like he doesn't want to kill you. But then why is he trying to? Wait, is this something plot-related? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Is it like that whole thing of mm. I'm being controlled, but I'm trying to fight you? Oh, now he's in the now he's in the Russell. Oh, you rustled his jimmies. Ooh, the clams have a purpose. Yep, and you've seen him the whole time. Yep. So now you now you learn what they do. Yep. That's cool game design. That's good game mechanics. What's your favorite uh, game mechanic? Uh, Yoshi's Island little, uh, little, like, kick. Oh, the little jump mechanic thing? The elongated jump. Yeah. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry lake bed. But judging by the... What? <laughs> it has mutated it. Accelerated its growth and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Ah! Poor little thing. Yeah. It makes sense. Gotta smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters. Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more monster schmonster. Out of it. Now get in there. Oh wow. It's starting to make sense as much as a uh, as the whole psychic thing can. Yep. And in the next episode, that is good writing. We're gonna find out 
Yeah, so, like, even if you don't deviate from the plan, they show you, hey, you can do this now. Yeah. Yeah, and also in the future, you'll get confusion Whoa. bombs, too. All psychic things that you've seen, you can do. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Wow, look at, the, this look at those four polygon buildings. Welcome to the best level in the game. Really? Not... All right, it's up there. It's definitely up there. Look. Ah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Officer Lungfish, how are you today? Oh, damp and happy can't complain. <laughs> what are you up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. You're in the middle of the street. <laughs> Any trouble? That's for sure. Oh, that's clever. Goggleor. <laughs> the first time I felt this, I was like, oh, hell yes. That's awesome. And we're going to get to destroy the whole place. That's awesome. Next time on Leather Soup, what you got for us? Max. Yeah. When you buy trash bags. You're basically just throwing your money away. I just, I just. Next serving of Leather Soup Gaming. <laughs>